right at the Pittsburgh 12 yard line. Blau looking left, throws left incomplete. Overshoots his intended receiver. Meanwhile, this is how the Steelers will go into the new season. They'll start off at Cincinnati against the Bengals. Then they'll come home to host New England, travel to Cleveland, home against the New York Jets, and then on the road at Buffalo. Nothing light about that start, is there? No. The AFC champions, New England's New England. Now, Deshaun Watson will not be playing quarterback in Cleveland, but it's still a division rival that gives them trouble. And then, of course, Buffalo in week five. They went to Buffalo and beat the Bills in the, week, in the season opener last year. On second and ten, that pass is complete, but going nowhere as Kennedy makes the catch. And the clock continues to move. We come up on one minute to play. They'll line it up in a hurry. And if you know Dan Campbell from watching Hard Knocks, you know that this is big for him to punch it into the end zone. That pass incomplete. Carlins will tell. Got the hand on it as the Detroit receiver slipped at the goal line. Yeah, they were lucky that didn't just go back the other way. <laughs> and you'd be describing him running with ball. Fourth and eight. Blau throwing. Tipped away at the goal line. It's incomplete. Donovan Steiner. Well, it looks like a see the Riley. Personal foul. Face mask. <laughs> Defense number 46. After this is the goal line. Automatic first down. They gave him Donovan Steiner's number. Yes, they did. That's Elijah Riley, who they just picked up this week, formerly with the New York Jets, out of Army, an undrafted free agent. And they just said, hey, you be Steiner. And somehow they, they, they found, him, found a way to get his name on it. Yeah, wear this for Gumble. <laughs> wear this one. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So, Elijah, you made a great play at the goal line. Forty one seconds on the clock. Well, it's the same thing for all teams at this time of year. Ready or not, it's time to go. Yeah. Here comes the tough days now for your personnel department. Make oh. the final decisions and even tougher telling young people that their dream may have died in your place. If not totally as Chuck Noll used to say time to get on with your life's work. What did Dan Campbell what did Dan Campbell tell us worst time of the year takes the time of the year preseason winding down here on first and goal thrown away and complete. And it'll be second and goal with 36 seconds on the clock. Another nice play by Elijah Riley. He actually got signed by Pittsburgh, landed at 9 a.m. here in Pittsburgh, and went right to practice. <laughs> There's no time to rest when you're trying to make a team. David Blau trying to get a touchdown before time runs out. Right up the middle to the five tosses it touchdown. Did he go past the line of scrimmage? So far no flag seen. I think they're going to discuss it back there. The umpire and the referee back in the you know who are behind the line of scrimmage. If it stands it's a touchdown pass to Quintez Cephas. I do see a flag now I believe on the field.
Dan Campbell wanting clarification. I think the touchdown is going to stand. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense number 31. That 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff, the result of the play is a touchdown. He gets really close to that line of scrimmage. He's okay. And remember, he could have that front foot over. You have to release the ball before the back foot crosses or the, or, or the, 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 the back body part. As long as any part of your body's behind the line of scrimmage, that counts as behind. He had, he had his full body behind it. That is not the way they practiced it back in Michigan, but it counts. <laughs> Rolling, throwing, and incomplete for the two-point conversion. Yeah, second time we saw Blau improvise that way for good plays. 